Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome to another travel video. So today we are in Copenhagen, which is our first port of call on the Carnival Pride on our trip. So like I've said, we're on the ship for 21 days. We're doing two tours back to back. Copenhagen is our first stop. We have to be downstairs at 9.45. Mom and I purchased quite a few excursions through Carnival this time. Typically we do third party excursions, but we had a lot of onboard credit and you can use that towards excursions. So we are going on a Copenhagen city tour and a tour of Trivoli Gardens. So we're very excited. Obviously I've never been here before. This is one of the few places mom hasn't been. Mom grew up, well, we both grew up military. My father and my grandfather were in the army. So was my mom, but her father did tours in Spain and Germany. So she's been all over Europe. Whereas my father did tours in Alaska, where I was born, and Hawaii, which were still amazing, but they weren't Europe. So every time we go somewhere in Europe, it's usually somewhere mom's been before. We picked this itinerary, well, we picked it for Russia, which is not happening anymore, but we picked it as well because there's a lot of ports that mom hasn't been to. So I'm gonna bring y'all along. We are going to go on a city tour and a tour of Trilly Gardens. Should be really fun. I'm just excited to be here. Right now I'm back in the Serenity deck, which of course is Carnival's adult only area since none of the adults are out here soaking up the sun and hanging out yet. It's just me and y'all, so I'm really excited. Let's go see Copenhagen. Thank you. Number two, that's for it. Yeah. 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 I think anywhere. Where are you going, Mom? It's literally the only row with no chairs. Oh, I didn't hear her say that. I thought she just said sit down. So we've got stickers for our shirts and they gave us back our tickets. They usually don't. They usually keep the tickets. Oh. We're just in the theater. This is like the meeting boat, meeting point. So at 10.45, 11, 9.45 or 10. Sorry, wrong time. They will get us and we will go check out the city, I guess. All right, we're finally going. You can see our ships. We're going to the number 10 bus, because we're the number 10 tour, apparently. And we will see what there is to see. Cruise number 10. Tour number 10. I wonder how they separate the groups, just by order of purchase. Morning. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. Okay, we're on the bus. Do you know what all we're going to see today? Of Copenhagen. We already knew that part. And Trivoli Garden. Guess we'll see what there is to see, and then it's four hours. So, wish us luck. It's quite sunny. There's the Little Mermaid. Well, it's right in the name, Little Mermaid. I expect her to be big. 
They said don't go down there if you don't want to get wet. So first stop in Copenhagen, the Little Mermaid. <laughs> So they were telling us how small the statue is and that today is her birthday. She's 109, so that's kind of cool. There's just a lot of people here, as there is with every tourist destination. We've got 10 minutes, so we're just going to walk around a little bit and then guess back on the bus to see what's next. It's very pretty. Mm, lots of green. They were saying that her her head was cut off or it was lost. What happened to her head? I didn't hear that part. I just heard that they had to replace <laughs> they it. They had to replace it because it was either broken beyond repair or lost. I don't didn't quite understand. But they said so her body is 109, but her head is 60. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. Oh, here you go, Mom. Some flowers. Mom doesn't love pandas. But they are pretty. Um, the multiple blooms are pretty. They're a little different from the cannas you see back home. They, they look like the smaller flag iris almost. They're pretty though. Okay. Canal tours, Copenhagen. Must not be running today. Whatever the canal tour signs for. All right, y'all. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. And the next time we uh, end up somewhere cool, I will show you what's up. I think we've got six, seven minutes left here, so I'm just gonna check everything out. All right, we just got off the bus and apparently we're gonna walk down to the palace. I wonder how far it is to the palace. And when I lived in New York, I lived in Paris. Right across here is a large building. This is an opera house. It's a gift to Copenhagen from a ship owner called Maersk. And the main condition was the location. If it cost a few million more or less, never mind. It's, you'll soon see why it's located where it is. 
because it's the same line as the royal palace and a church. And um, it opened January 2005 with Burdis Aida. And it cost 335 million US or euros. So, piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> and further down here, we're building a new section of town called the Paper Island. It'll be completed in a few years. And then in the background, you have this twisted spire. That's the spire of our Savior's Church. And you can walk to the top of it 400 steps and you cannot slide down again. <laughs> <laughs> and then this brown structure further down here, that's the Playhouse, open 2008 with Shakespeare's Hamlet. <laughs> I was going to say, how's your butterfly bush, Mom? <laughs> it's pretty. Mine might get that big someday. Many years from now. <laughs> That's what? Oh, Nutella. Huh. We have this I thought they looked familiar. Mm -hmm. This is pretty. Oh. And in the background you have a so-called marble church. 
renamed the Frederick Church after King in the Century, but we call it Marble Church, as it was the Calvin Marble. Marble cost a lot. It took 145 years before the whole thing was completed. So now marble at the bottom, or lower part, and south stone on the upper part. It's a view from the Protestant church, like the majority of the churches here, and it's part of the cemetery layout here. It's not a church of a back of the and this king in the center was Frederick number five. He wanted this statue to be absolutely perfect. So the statue cost more money than the four palaces together. And he did not live to see it completed he died. And he's dressed like a Roman emperor in sandals and everything. Very practical in our environment. And so on. Uh, the soldiers you see here, they came here yesterday at 12 noon. And they are here till today at noon, meaning 24 hours. Not 24 hours in the courtyard. Two hours in the courtyard with a break of four hours. And they're wearing these bare skin hats, uh, each weighing around three pounds, one and a half kilo. And the hats are dyed, certified black Canadian uh, black bear. And the biggest day here is the Queen's birthday. When they put on a red jacket, it's a big changing, it's the biggest one of the year. And the musicians will start on that side, march around the statue, up towards the balcony, where the Queen at noon will come out. Lots of people down here waving flags, screaming, Queen, Queen, come on out, otherwise we'll never go home. <laughs> and she does normally three times, and that's the end of it. So uh, it's a very popular royal family we have, and hardly any scandals. It's so, it's, it's good. And also when they live here, we can come in here, we can ride the cars, not that way, but that way. Mm -hmm. So, bicycling from yeah. here, they bring it out to us. So that leaves you with 15 minutes. If you want to use the restaurants here, we'll be in Chivoli. Ah. Just after 12, in about an hour's time. So that's the next restaurants. But um, if you get to restaurants, you just cross the street, you don't have to go all the way down to the water, just swallow the road along the park. Mm -hmm. yeah, you see this uh, WC, that's the bus parking and the souvenir shop. So in 15 minutes, it will leave. Okay, so we're off the bus, going into Tivoli Gardens now. I believe we're gonna have a couple hours to look around here. And uh, if you wanna go walk around the city, you can. And then we'll be back on the bus. So right now, our tour guide, you can see her hand up over there, is uh, collecting us all. She has all our tickets. So once she gives us our tickets and we go in, we have time to explore. I think she said there's, she's going to show us a little bit and then we'll have time on our own. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All have one? I'll take one too. You can. Look at all the pretty gardens. So let's. We could. Uh, we are, come over on that side, you can also see. We are here. This is the main entrance. And every 15 minutes, you will hear the bells of a city hall chiming. And when they chime, bling, 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 at 2 o'clock, 
I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not here by that time, our taxi is outside. It's just, just tell the driver Ocean Pier if you want to stay longer in Tivoli. I guess you don't sail till five or something, right? So that's totally up to you. But main entrance, two o'clock when the bell chimes, I'm leaving. Okay. Thank you. Right. The bus, I don't know where it will be, about uh, somewhere oh, yeah. around here. But you need press my bell, uh -huh. and I hear that in two hours, finish. <laughs> now we'll meet, we'll meet in here, I'll be in this area here. Uh, you find washrooms, restrooms, the closest one, are just down here on the left hand side, and they're free. But if you come in here, I'll take you on a little walk. Garden. You see these ticket booths over there, that's where you get to it if you want a true okay. pass. But if you just want to do a little ride or two, you go up to the thing you want to ride on, scan your credit card. Oh, yeah, I think it's good. No, I wouldn't be up there. Oh, Down here you have a pantomime. This is the oldest standing building in Chile from the 1870s. The very first buildings, they were made of some kind of coffin material so they could easily be taken down and removed. But this takes five men to open and close the curtain. And it's pantomimes here. And the queen, she has done sonography and she also designed costumes for this pantomime. She's very artistic. To get the stamps, you get them here. If you want to go to Lego shop, go get a stamp here before you go out and tell the guard down there you go to the Lego shop to get in it. Oh, sure. right? oh. And in here we have two little food halls, also small eating places, uh, something a la street food, all kinds of different things. In the garden itself is a talk of 30 restaurants, so plenty of hostels to get some to eat of them. Salvia. Salvia, pretty salvia. Hydrangeas. I had a funky statue. Oh man. This is Yale um, Parks, this is the founder of Tivoli, and you can see 15, 8, 15 August, 1842. That was the first time Tivoli opened. This complex new is at night, lit up with more than 4,000 lights. So it's beautiful. And you have our own Matterhorn, uh, with snow and everything, and inside there we have one of the oldest wooden roller coasters in the world, made in uh, 1914. Uh, the Queen has a 50th Jubilee as Queen this year and should have been celebrated in January but then they had all this Corona COVID things that was postponed. Most of it now took place in the middle of September. But late May she was here being celebrated in Jubilee and when they had done the official program the Queen said I want to go on the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And oops, that was not planned so they did it, you know. And she was shown sitting in the front of the car there, <laughs> laughing and screaming like anybody else. 82 years old. I think that's what Could you ride a roller coaster at 82, Mom? That's what I thought. And that is where Copenhagen is going to be seen and to see on the opening day. 
Copenhagen, why not Copenhagen? I know they're so little, but look at all the blooms. That's what you should get for well licorice. <laughs> you gotta get that licorice? Yeah. I mean, I brought a bag of licorice with me. <laughs> My brother loves it. We're going to have to get him some. What kind is it? Uh, the building over there, that's the like city hall. Place. That's where yeah. you hear a bell coming from. And down in that area, you have a little lake, also a nice area to walk around. To buy something to drink and take it with you, you have to pay a deposit. And if you don't want to take it with you, you find these. There's also one up by the main entrance. You just lift this one here, put your cup upside down, like was shown here. And then the deposit of five kroner, five Danish kroner comes out. We recycle everything. That's interesting.
All right, y'all, so this place is huge, so much bigger than we thought. We also thought it was gonna be a lot more gardens. And while obviously there are beautiful gardens here, there's lots of rides, lots of things to eat. Um, it's really more of an experience and a place to hang out than a specific garden. Um, but we still had fun. We did leave for a minute and pop over to the Pandora store, had to get our Copenhagen charm. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with that. If I'm just going to do one big Pandora video at the end of the trip or if I'm going to do it in each daily vlog but for now it is time to go meet back up remember she said two o'clock or she's leaving so we're gonna go meet our tour go back to the ship and eat lunch there we decided we'd rather walk around look at all the pretty flowers experience the gardens and then eat when we get back on the ship especially since food on the ship is covered and food here is not so I will see y'all later um, and mom and I will give you our review of our Copenhagen city tour and Trivoli Gardens. But I did want to show you this house with the, uh, all the pretty flowers up top. How much fun is that? I have no clue what it's used for. And they are obviously still, you know, they've got flats of flowers. They are working on a project out there. You can see all the scaffolding. Maybe that's where the flowers are going to go. They're quite pretty. So let's head back and find mom. She found a bench. As always, you need a bench partner. Mom will always help you find the benches. All right, mom. So on a scale of one to 10, what would you rank this tour? Oh, the whole tour? Yeah, so the Copenhagen city tour and the Trivoli Gardens. Maybe like a seven? Yeah. The, the history of the city when she, they were driving around and telling us, and I really enjoyed the Little Mermaid, obviously, even if it was super crowded, and I like seeing the palace, um, but that's really the main two spots they showed us history. Um, and I did enjoy the Trivoli Gardens, but mom and I were thinking there'd be a lot more gardens Yeah, and there's a lot more Amusement. amusements. So there's literally roller coasters and rides and I think she said like 80 restaurants. Yeah, there's a lot of restaurants. A lot of restaurants. And it, it's beautiful, like, but this place is huge. I'll show you a picture of the map. Yeah. From the entrance to the furthest pot we walked, like here, I'll put it on the screen. We, we only walked like maybe a 20th of this place. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how you would do the whole place in one day, let alone in two hours. So I definitely enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed a few of the other tours we've done like Stonehenge and the Harry Brother, Harry Brothers, Harry Potter, Warner Brothers studio tour more than today. But I did enjoy it. So I like seeing all the old buildings. I like seeing the old buildings. I like seeing all the mm -hmm. spires and towers. I like seeing how they put all the gardens together. Everything's very English country jumbled together. Everything grows on top of each other. I like that style. I like seeing all the dahlias, but I don't know that this is one I would necessarily do again if we had the opportunity. True. All right, well, we will see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to, where are we going tomorrow, mom? Germany. Germany. Schweren and Wismar. We're gonna see Wismar. castles, yes. German castles. See you then.